Now to a story Western Mass News has been following for weeks. The push for basketball hoops to return in the city of Springfield is gaining traction throughout the community. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is getting answers on where the plans stand. She joins us live in Springfield with those details. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, one local community activist, sat down with the city's health commissioner, Helen Colton-Harris, to propose a plan to get city hoops back up. Janae McDonald tells Western Mass News there's been an outpouring of support from the community from people willing and wanting to help. The community spoke up like they've been speaking up about this, and we had some community-based organizations that actually stepped forward and said that they were willing to volunteer and donate some of their time to help monitor the courts. And so with that, we were hoping to see kind of like an outdoor uh, drop-in center setting happen with the courts where the city could come in, put the hoops up over the weekend. We would have the community-based organization representatives out to um, sign the young people in, check their temperature, make sure they're wearing a mask, and allow them to enjoy the park and play ball. She says COVID-19 numbers continue to trend downwards in the city, which could lead Springfield to be out of the high-risk zone for the virus soon. Western Mass News spoke with Colin Harris to see where the city stands on implementing the proposed plan. I am not ready to make an announcement right now as far as basketball hoops are concerned. However, I will be within the next couple of days with the mayor, I'll be making an announcement as far as basketball hoops are concerned. McDonald says there is an online petition that currently has hundreds of signatures. That link is on our website, westernmassnews.com. She's also encouraging any local volunteers to come forward. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.